संदीप सिंह सुरजेवाला इज जस्ट ट्वीटेड लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस अर्ली मॉर्निंग आज बनाएंगे ही इज कॉलिंग फॉर कांग्रेस पार्टी कांग्रेस कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ अ विन इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड ही इज सेइंग आज बनाएंगे एक नई सरकार एंड ही हैज सेड कॉन्फिडेंस आ रही नया मध्य नया मध्य प्रदेश नया विश्वास आ रही है आ रही है कांग्रेस कांग्रेस के साथ दैट्स व्हाट द पल्लवी घोष इज विद अस पल्लवी Randeep Surjewala is he watching CNN news 18 and tweeting or are you standing outside Kamal Nath ji's residence because you know something that Randeep Surjewala also does Well I've just shifted to the Congress headquarters here you can see all those hoardings have begun to come up but the thing about Randeep Surjewala is that he may not have been lucky for himself when it comes to his politics in Haryana off late he certainly has been lucky for the Congress Uh, Pallavi, I've lost your audio. Pallavi, lost your audio. Uh, yeah, now you're back. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so, so you'll have to be steady. Somewhere your uh, uh, channels are uh, frequencies. There is a mismatch or it's getting cut. So stand steady and then talk. Surjewala in Karnataka was to get the warring Sidharamaya and G.K. Shivkumar on the same page. He managed to do that. Over here, he's also been made in charge of... Uh, Uh, Madhya Pradesh. So you know, I guess the Congress Party is calculating that he's lucky for them here too. He was here whole of yesterday. He went back. whole of yesterday. He went back to Delhi for an urgent meeting. He's going to be back this morning. By which time, already four observers led by Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary have been appointed. So Randeep Churdewala has been micromanaging, and I guess he is super confident. But I guess any state. Be, but I think also the Congress Party doesn't want to take any chances. Remember, mm. 15 months' ki sarkar fell, and this time round they have been in touch. So, so they are not going to take any chances, and everybody is going to show intent, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes the Congress Party has been faulted for showing lack of intent. But the last time, but I... you know, ati shokti bhi thik nahi hoti to celebrate counting your chickens before they hatch, to celebrate before. actual numbers come through is also sometimes can backfire last time it happened with the gujarat elections they had only himachal to celebrate the rest all went towards uh, the uh, the bjp let's quickly look at the multipolar polls on madhya pradesh and we'll come to madhya pradesh rahul just quickly putting these numbers out the multipolar polls kya ye state phas raha hai that's the question everybody is looking at and saying runaway victory for the bjp or a comfortable victory for the bjp although there are one or two pollsters who have said that the congress may still have its nose ahead in madhya pradesh so is it that state that is getting stuck we'll have to wait and watch on that let's go across to uh, rahul shivshankar who had a point to make and then please take it away yeah very quickly on rajasthan look this time modi is on the ticket hmm he's asked for votes in his name hmm you have gelot and we were just discussing that he's gone central and straight forward with welfare schemes mm. and those welfare schemes have had a huge impact on the ground let me tell you winning a lot of favor for him personally mm. now we don't know if the factionalism within the congress mm. where that gujjar vote is going to go because you know zaka will show you that map so and he was showing it oh, yesterday so we moved to rajasthan and not madhya pradesh yeah, okay we'll talk about that just, just, just okay. one second but i want to tell you the hmm. modi impact in that state and hmm. i had invoked that just about an hour back but it bears repetition hmm. in 2018 <coughs> brahmins 45% hmm. voted for the bjp when modi was on the ticket that number went to 82% jats 26 that number goes up threefold to 85% OBCs 46% to 72% and tribals 40% to 55%. So I think if this election has Mr Modi central in focus there it's going to be a tight one and therefore we have what we see in the exit polls this sort of confusion except for one outlier. So if you if you uh, bring up the Rajasthan vote share and yeah. I want to hold this for a moment just one second uh, this is the Rajasthan vote share. Uh, again like i say you know the exit pollsters often where they go wrong is converting vote share into seat share but in the vote share janki baat which is pradeep bandari's poll he has given congress 44 and the bjp 41 p mark is given again 40 and 42 matriz is has given the bjp a, a big win so uh, that's a 5% vote share here and today's chanakya again this is a, a 2% vote share now The problem in Rajasthan is because there are so many independents and so many rebel candidates who don't get a ticket either from the Congress or the BJP, and therefore they fight as independents or or rebel candidates. Then it becomes very very difficult because even with a two percent vote share, you can have a decisive vote uh, mm. either in favor of the Congress or or in favor of the BJP. So 
pay attention to those others category as well because that is going to be and there is important. one other factor that we overlook that half to one third of the voters vote for their local candidates yep. mm, party yep. affiliation doesn't really matter too much yeah mm. local candidates and there are certain constituencies like uh, uh, i can i can say this out loud and my friends would be watching my school friends from uh, udaipur i studied in st <laughs> paul's there i'm part of that group a lot of them have said that uh, they voted for the independent candidate in some of the constituencies in that region because the independent candidate was stronger yeah. than the bjp candidate so some of them were back in the are there proxies. are others who are congress <laughs> supporters yeah. who are trying to push for the congress but the story is that this independent factor comes into play where they believe that the candidate this candidate is a better one so let's consolidate votes in favor of this candidate so that this will help the final cause if it comes to a you know yeah. give and go I mean, and that's the, what happened and in 2018 amar yeah. yeah. knows yeah. this yeah. Yeah. 18, 19, 27 27 yeah. independents were elected wow. and, and a really yeah. decent vote share it's more than a fifth right so amar uh, are you seeing something similar this time around as well here this time in 2018 it was said many of these guys gehlot ne khud khud unko khada kiya hai is bar bhi zaka some of them are mr gehlot's uh, proxy some of them who didn't get the tickets but i think this time in rajasthan the major factor which is playing is also mr gehlot's own image hmm. you know he if you meet mr gehlot and we've interviewed him a couple of times he is very clear that my image is spot clean see I, and his major scheme i think which is worked in rajasthan on the ground and if he comes to par all credit to that is chiranjeevi medical insurance scheme 25 lakh free insurance not just that free medicines hmm. so i met people voters saying hame to dawai hum 1000 rupaye 2000 rupaye ki lete the ab free milta hai hmm. and this campaign run by ashok gehlot in the last days see if i go out of par this chiranjeevi scheme is going to stop okay so that kind of a, you know telling the voter that vote for me otherwise the scheme is going to stop and ayushman bharat of the center has only 5 lakh he is offering 25 but lakh. ashok gehlot is the same these, guy who uh, said ki uh, bjp has polarized the poll Sorry. Chunaav on count on polling day, he said that BJP ne chunaav polarized kar diya. Now when you say something like that, Amuma ne aisa lagta hai ki aaj se nikal raha hai. That is true because the Kanhaiya Lal case, uh, Anand had yeah. wide resonance across Rajasthan. We have know, happened a few months a, back. But, look, I mean, we were discussing this yesterday, the body language and so and so forth. But look, I mean, you know, politicians are very good <laughs> at you know playing uh, the sympathy card and playing to the galleries. But there's a question I have for you because you've been there. these tribal parties rlp for example of hanuman beniwal can it cut the bjp's jhat vote are they even in play can the bsp this time in because last election that's what happened bsp i think is a very important factor not just in rajasthan rahul even in madhya pradesh mm. you know it can be a key Especially factor bsp is now a unique party which has little resonance in up mm. its home state but in other states it has a lot of resonance it gets those key 3 to 4 seats and becomes like a very crucial party even uh, mr beniwal's party i think will be able to make a mark here also because this vacuum is a bit left by the congress and the bjp in rajasthan the congress campaign you know i i think eastern rajasthan especially congress is uh, worried about that because uh, mr sachin pilot did not was not seen so aggressively right. on the ground this right time. taking that time co conversation watch. away 15 minutes on the clock and on that note let's also bring to you yet another new facet or element that shifted base from hyderabad right down to our headquarters of facility here at cnn news 18 in noida as our live result hap and shivani is joining us live from there how is the setup looking 15 minutes less than 15 minutes to go till that counting gets underway over to you shivani Absolutely big day today and there's a lot of buzzing activity as far as our live results hub is concerned from where I'm joining you I'll request my camera person to pan around and how a lot of these young professionals have taken their seat they're all gearing up for the big day and for the big results to come in four big state results are going to be coming in of course one tomorrow in Mizoram but these four states what an interesting battle and there is a concurrent theme uh, Anand I feel that is running through these four big states what that is that there are four big chief ministers you know chief ministers who would say that they are heavyweights in their own right and mm -hmm. whether these chief ministers can hold on to their sarkars in these states the shivraj singh chauhans the ashok gehlots the bupesh baghels and of course kcr four big regional names can right. they hold on to their sarkars is the big question i want to go across to rajesh raina yes. who's actually manning this I desk as well there. uh rajesh ji just for the benefit of our viewers give us a brief sense first up by when will the first lead start coming up i think first lead will come uh, at around 81 81 801 we'll have the first lead yes, with yes. us because postal ballots will open at that time so yes. we'll give the first lead at around 81 give give a sense to our viewers of why we are the fastest and the most accurate live result hub you see no channel in the country and no media house in the country has this kind of setup hmm. right 
So what you will see at 8 o'clock, all these channels, they will show the inflated figures. They will right. exaggerate, they will show 50, 30, 40. <laughs> they will get data from some agencies and other, but we get data directly from the counting centers, from our own reporters. Mm. You see, uh, there are 171 counting centers across all these four states, mm. and we have deployed 250 people there. Right. So they are directly linked to this uh, call center here. How do you man all of this? How do you uh, how do you get uh, you know collate the data from 250 different people? That too, you know, you've got four big states yeah. results that are coming. There's no room for error, especially. No room for error at all. Mm. You see, that's why 50 people are manning this uh, call center here. Mm. So all these computer systems they mm. are connected directly with the counting centers, right. and we will get d data from them. They will call this counting center from each uh, this uh, counting center. Our reporter will call here. And that data will be just flashed on screen within five seconds. Within five seconds. So you can be guaranteed and rest assured, one, about accuracy, second, about uh, speed. Both are going to be together in bringing this election coverage from the live result hub for our viewers. Let me go across to some of our colleagues here who are all nicely sporting their Network 18 uh, t-shirts. Uh, we also have a lot of our network colleagues who are actually here because now this result hub is uh, right here in Noida in our headquarters. Just give us a sense of your screen. So I see you've selected Telangana. Yes, uh, you're going to be getting calls from Telangana counting centers? Yes ma'am, it is getting. Uh, it on 8 o'clock, mm. it will start uh, as a leading, yes. Right. Yeah. So, you are doing one state. Your work is to manage Telangana. Yes, my work is to Telangana. And there will be calls from there. Who is the first state and which constituency from the first state? Who is the first state and which constituency from the first state? Who is the first state and which constituency from the first state? Right. Right. I caught that. I caught that. Let me go across to Rajesh once again and figure that out. Uh, is there, amongst these four big states, one state that you expect you know, a result sooner from? You think it depends on, it's, it's very difficult to predict, but hmm. still it depends uh, about the vote percentage and the number of votes polled. Okay. Suppose if there are any, count, any polling booths where voting percentage was less or less number of votes were polled. Hmm. So we expect that uh, the first trends from those places. Ah. And hmm. I think Chhattisgarh, we will get from Chhattisgarh first. From Chhattisgarh. So basically, Chhattisgarh will speaking be first. about that, maybe possibly yeah. from Chhattisgarh, but you know, well, there are uh, so many big faces, Anand. I mentioned the four chief ministers, a lot riding for them if they can get repeat mandates. But you look at a state like Madhya Pradesh, for example, and even others, so right. many big names, sitting ministers mm -hmm. who are actually under, contesting. Under, under 10 key, minutes, oh. under 10 and minutes, Shivani, we'll come back to you. There is, uh, I hope you've got comfortable footwear on because you're going to have a lot of running around to do. And between uh, the studio, the magic wall, and the live result hub, it's all going to start get buzzing in the next 10 minutes. We'll put the keep the countdown clock right on top of us on our masthead, on our top bands, consistent now and a constant. Uh, let's quickly bring it back in. Any sense, any feeling as we are counting down? Kaunsa uh, state Pasega, Rajasthan and Telangana, the two states, with the, the, is that what you had I in think mind? Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh and Telangana. I, I, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Rajasthan Madhya Pradesh. clear, Nikal. I don't know clear, but the state of Rajasthan is a two-fight, you know, it will either, I think, be a 120, 125 kind of a state, Rajasthan, I, I believe, whichever party gets it. Madhya Pradesh is tighter going by history. And also this time, because of the issues, I think uh, uh, CM Shivrat Singh Chauhan totally banking this election on his woman's scheme, the Ladli Behna Yojana, mm -hmm. which some in the Congress told me that there is a 18-year-old government, and for the election, there is one scheme for the election. Uh. So, and the Congress camp, I think Mr. Kamal Nath clearly telling the voters, look, uh, you elected me the last time. Mine was a democratically elected government. BJP overthrew me. So, punish the BJP, bring me back. I got the mandate last time and because of Jyotiratya Siddhya that I went out. His pitch has been very clear. I will give you guarantees. Right. I will give women the money and all these uh, schemes which Shivraj well, has Well, since you're saying Madhya Pradesh, Phasega news is coming through. BJP confident of a historic run in Madhya Pradesh. That's what they're saying. BJP is saying, and that's the news, confident of a historic run in Madhya Pradesh. Home Minister, incumbent Home Minister is saying BJP will win 125 to 150 seats in the state. This Zaka, many of their leaders have said, a Pratyashit Jeet. Let's just quickly listen to Narottam Mishra. I am good, this is the Loktantra of Mahaparv. And in this Parv, the people have also increased the responsibility of this time. माता बहनों ने भागीदारी बहुत बढ़ चली ये हमारे लिए प्रसन्नता की बात है और हम मानते हैं कि मतदान ज्यादा हुआ है और अकेले हम नहीं मानते अब तो एग्जेक्ट पोल मानता है आप मानते हो मीडिया जगत मानता है जनता भी मानती है कि सरकार भारतीय जनता पार्टी की बनने जा रही है चंद घंटों की बात है भगवान की कृपा रही है खेड़ापति वाव हमेशा प्रचंड बहुमत से 
जीत अर्जित होगी भारतीय जनता पार्टी जीतेगी और डेढ़ के पार भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार भी बनेगी सो के पर्दे अप्रत्याशित जीत या भागीदारी की बात कर रहे हैं आई जस्ट होप कि सिंधिया साहब और तोमर साहब और जो दूसरे हैं उनके साथ भागीदारी हो रही है बिकॉज अगर वहां भागीदारी नहीं हुई तो फिर प्रॉब्लम देयर इज अ बेसिक प्रॉब्लम ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सम आर सेइंग एंड आई थिंक यू नो यू वर शोइंग मी अ ग्राफ येस्टरडे राइट हियर एंड यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिंधिया फैक्टर and that whole gwalior belt yeah. if that doesn't if the chemistry doesn't work there the bjp has got trouble i think that's the area where we have to look at in telangana i will be looking out for the rural votes to see what's happening on the rural side if those things start mm. moving towards the congress then i think it's going to be a very decisive you know this india factor is very very important yeah. because last time out of those 41 seats the congress swept that belt the gwalior chambal bhin morena that belt they got 31 out of 41 the vote share was also substantially higher remember the congress's vote share statewide was less than the bjp's here they have almost a 6% uh, gap so I mean, 31 to 9 percent gap uh, in, in a state, state overall which was 0.13% exactly. so imagine so that's that's why this sort of set the tone and i always have said that madhya pradesh is like fighting different mini state battles you have to win the gwalior chambal belt uh, congress won very big in the in the tribal belt in the malwa belt here and then of course they won around chindwara which is uh, mahakashal so three out of the five regions they won if you go back to 2013 the bjp again swept in three out of five regions they swept in the malwa belt they swept in the madhya part of madhya pradesh as they say and of course the stronghold that they have in eastern madhya pradesh in the Vind vindyachal as they call it uh, so three out of five the bjp managed to sweep in 2013 so whoever wins madhya pradesh has to win three out of five regions but aman you know again i'm not mm. big into body language of netas but kamal nath has been just radio silence from him other than that one tweet that we saw i think on the on the night of the exit polls nobody has seen him nobody has heard from him what's going on well i think kamal nath is silently confident you know i, I remember meeting him and he told me that 125 seat hamara aa raha hai whatever the media says in delhi whatever the exit mm. poll says we have done our calculations we are getting 125 seats and that is also based on what he thinks will be mm. his, uh, he will continue he feels to hold on to the gwalior chambal region that is the, and i saw mr kamal nath in fact going and do, doing many rallies in the gwalior chambal region because he knows that is the key and with no, with no mr sindhya now there is last time if you i told but mr kamal nath there is talk that he is he is struggling even his own constituency chindwara itself is a problem for him many yeah, people are Aran, talking about their chances small small sabhas in chindwara you know of with 100 200 300 people in chindwara he went the banti sahu is the bjp candidate against him and is giving him a tough fight hmm. so i think mr kamal see this is kamal nath's last election he's 77 years old if he yeah. does not win now you know i don't think he'll be contesting again for the chief minister's post at 82 so he has put his full full might i have seen in campaign you know, a lot even but, at this but age but that means madhya pradesh and rajasthan for the bjp and the congress does that herald political retirement for the vanquished absolutely i da, think does for many uh, within there does it herald political retirement for the vanquished absolutely 5 minutes on the clock but yeah. think about just think about you know yes madhya pradesh yes very important futures really at stake political futures careers at stake hmm. but think about telangana brs led by a person who has not really been fit enough people say privately to even attend office think about his future hmm. Hmm. he goes he loses it's going to be a long retirement see ktr is a tall leader and as the sun is there and so is k kavita now one of them will have to then take on the mantle and will there be a you well, know that's the shift uh, that that that's there uh, you're saying that's a problem that's a problem between the brother there's and the a, sister there's, there's, i'm there's not saying it problem. you're saying uh, it also ashok gehlot is still 72 anand ashok gehlot is still 72 <laughs> and i must tell you that ashok gehlot if he does not get a majority his aim is to get 73 huh. because that is what vasundhara raje got the last time right. and if he get 73 plus he will say look i am still popular aicc in delhi may not be very fond of me mm. because what happened in the presidential poll but still i delivered 73 because the last time when they dropped under ashok gehlot they dropped to 21 seats huh. so ashok gehlot i think first target is 73 and then yeah. if he crosses the mark over 100 see, so much is stake for mr gehlot what, yeah. uh, what yeah. rahul was talking about yeah. ktr and kavita yeah. i think generally the sense in telangana is that ktr is the heir apparent that, heir uh, at some point the transfer will happen from father to son what is difficult there is that kcr's image and this is and the congress has been smart in playing that as well they've not attacked the progeny they've attacked mm. kcr saying he doesn't come to the secretariat he's operating from some farmhouse not even in hyderabad he's inaccessible 
there's local level corruption. So all the anger and all the Congress's sort of targeting has been against KCR, that's one. And two, we haven't talked about this enough. There's always this ready versus backward uh, fight, and even in, when yeah. it was united Andhra Pradesh. I mean, you go back all the way to the 1950s from Sanjeeva Reddy to Chana Reddy. The Reddys have played, YSR, I mean, the Reddys have been a very, very big, it, they're like the jats of, yeah. uh, of, of Andhra Pradesh, right? So hmm. the Reddys have been out of power in Telangana for the last 10 years. So they are hoping, and if that caste sort of comes together behind Revant, and, and I think the Congress has given, if I'm not mistaken, 17 or 18 uh, Reddy tickets. Uh, that's a big number. Yeah. That's more than 10%, right? So if they've done that, and if the Reddys sort of consolidate behind the, the, the Congress in rural Telangana, that could be an interesting, interesting thing to watch Interestingly, Revant Reddy, six years into the Congress party, former ABVP yeah. guy, and then he moves in. And somewhere, uh, it's a case study for a reflection, point of reflection for the BJP also, that they bungled up Telangana. Yeah. They had momentum after the Hyderabad civic polls. Bandi Sanjay, Ava ousted, G. Kishan Reddy parachuted there. Not that he's a small leader, he's a very, very tall leader, Mr. G. Kishan Reddy, given dual responsibility. And then you say that someone from the backward caste will exactly. become chief minister. Well, the prime minister also made quite a statement by getting the Madigal lead yeah. on stage Two with minutes him. On and the there clock. was that very yeah. emotional sort of you know, um, interaction between the two. So yeah. I, know, I don't know how that's also going to play. But I think what is not being said is the impact of that whole Congress complaint to the Election Commission. And suddenly people didn't get that right to Bandhan Scheme Award, which has been increased also, don't forget. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Let's see. So you're saying rural Telangana is going to be critical. That's the place rural to Telangana watch. Rural Telangana is going to be critical. We've got one and a half minutes, 90 seconds on the clock. You've got Madhya Pradesh open. You, uh, do, does everybody believe that whoever takes Madhya Pradesh will then say claim victory? Is that the biggest state to look Absolutely. for? Absolutely. It's like winning the ICC World Cup. It doesn't <laughs> matter. That you can have a T20 series after that, beat Australia 4-2 or whatever. It doesn't matter. You have to win the big prize. And the big prize is Madhya Pradesh. Big prize. Big, heart of the country, yep. right? And heart we'll of the country and also the also heart of the, the stronghold of the RSS. And, yeah. and it's, it's yes. prestigious for BJP to actually win it, especially after it lost it the last time and again regained it after 15 months. But I think very BJP's very, main prize is... It is very British. important because of the BJP's claim that it runs effectively double-engine sarkars. Hmm. Look, hmm. so the double-engine, if one of them sort of goes off, then there's a problem. 50 seconds, 50 seconds quickly. Let's, let's uh, before it travels back to me, Aman Sharma, which two states and where are we going to sweat? MP and Telangana. MP and Telangana. And who's going to be sweating? <laughs> Along with us. I think the Congress... <laughs> Netas, obviously. <laughs> Netas are no, no, which Congress, party Netas? I'm I saying know, which, which party I think, Netas? I think Anand, the exit polls have looked, put a lot of pressure on the Congress now to win Telangana. Because everybody said they're win winning Telangana. Win Telangana, 25 seconds. I think Telangana is going to be decisive. If at all, there is going to be something. If the Congress is coming, it'll come. There's not going to be a hung house situation. Huh. If... KCR still manages huh. to hold on. That might be tight, but he'll hold on if that is the case. Well, Zaka Zeka, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. I on think the clock. again, Madhya Pradesh and Telangana is what I'm watching out okay. for. Madhya Pradesh, again, I think it'll be decisive. Five, uh, Telangana will also be decisive. Four.